Now we're going to get to number six. All right, welcome back for number six. Number six is how to animate. Animation is a big part of Express. It allows you to take static content, like uh, just a social post with images and text, and make a move and create a video. So even if you don't have actual video, you can make a video in Express just animating your text and images. Let me show you in this example. So I just went and found this great game day, uh, this game day post, and these are all individual elements that was as we've seen before. So that's a photo. Uh, this is a shape. This is text. Uh, of course, it's got a background. It's got all these various elements. Now, if I get out of text and I select an individual item, any individual item I select, if you scroll down. You have all the different things you can do with that item, including animation. So every single item I select, I can animate. I can even animate a group. So let's select game, start at the top, click on animation, and you have three choices for animation to animate it, how it comes into your layout. If it just sits there and does something, which is called looping, so it'll loop the whole time, or how it animates out at the end. So beginning, middle, end, or beginning the entire time, end. So if I say I want to animate game in, then these are my choices of animation so far. And I say so far because we're always adding more. So bungee, it just shows me, it just kind of falls down and bounces for a second. Drift, it kind of drifts in from the side. Drop, it drops, but doesn't bounce. So forth and so on. I'm not going to go through each one, but you get the idea. Flicker, grow. I kind of like grow, shrink, and I said I wasn't going to go through them all, but you get the idea. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's say that we want to animate the grow for game. So now I clicked on grow, and now that automatically, because I animated at least one thing, it automatically generated a timeline. So this entire animation takes five seconds. If I want it to take longer, I can stretch it out and have the whole thing take longer. So maybe I want to animate some kind of intro that's 10 seconds. I can just keep dragging it out until I get to the 10 second mark, which is right there. Uh, so you can animate something to be as long or as short as you want. So animating it in and it, it just did it. So now the 10 seconds, nothing's happening. Okay. So when I click on, let's go back to it. When I click on game and I go back to animation, notice it's blue because it's already been done. But uh, I can also do the duration. Right now, it's less than a second. So I can say, hey, this takes at least, or I can type it in maybe. Let's do 1.0, one second. So that takes one second to animate in. So play, one, done. Just like that, one second. We can stop it. So now I want to animate the next thing. So I want to animate the, the arrow here, the little, little arrow thingy. So I click on animation. And I want to animate that in, and I want that one to spin in. Yep, just like that. Now, because they're all being animated at the same time, they all will animate at the same time. So they kind of spin in together and, and do all the things together, and then they just sit there. If you really want to create something professional, then you really want to spend time, a few seconds learning about layer timing. So um, that's, a, that's an on off down here. It's off by default, but when I turn it on, it just gives me a little bar above my timeline. What this little bar is for, is for you to, to select individual elements. So when I select game, it shows me the bar for game. When I select the, the arrow, it shows me the bar for the arrow and they look the same because they are the same. They start at the very beginning, but I could take the arrow now that it's selected and move it in. So I can move that in maybe right there. So now it would play like this. Game, then the arrow. Because the arrow starts later. You're controlling where this starts. So if I say day and I animate day, and I think you're getting the idea of this already. Let's animate day. And let's have day, uh, let's have day slide in. And we'll have it slide in from the le our, our left to right, or right to left. All right, and we'll make it slide in a little, take a little bit longer than a second. Great. So same thing. If I were to now, while it's still selected, move this out, it's showing me where the first one is, showing me where the second one is, 
Now I'm going to move it to where I want the third one to be. This is the third animation to be about there. So now when I scrub back or move the playhead back and hit play, one, two, three. So you just keep doing rinse and repeat as we like to say. So if I want this uh, this this athlete now to fade in, let's say uh, would may, maybe happen, happen right about there and we'll have the athlete fade in. And again, where? I want it after those first three to be right about there. I'm not gonna do them all, but you get the idea. One, two, three, fade. And so you would just keep going. That is how to animate in Adobe Express. Now, because it's an animation, you have your choice of how you get it out of Express. When I click download, because I've created a timeline, it automatically says, hey, you wanna make this a video? Because obviously how else would it play if it's not a video? But you can also, you can make it a still, but it's just gonna be a static image with no animation. So if you want an animated GIF, for example, you could export this out as a video and then run it through the quick action that converts a video to a GIF. So you even got the best of both worlds. All right, so that would download it to my drive as a video and I could post that video that has no video in it to social media and away it goes. All right, that was number six, how to animate.